everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We have a new sketchbook video here today at the School of Visual Arts. We are visiting with Locke. And Locke, how are you today? Tired. Yeah, so you worked really late at night to finish the sketchbook. Yep, I pulled an all-nighter. Oh my god, so wait, you mean to tell me you didn't go to sleep last night? No, no. Oh my god, that is crazy, that is crazy. Alright, listen, you have some beautiful drawings in your sketchbook, so Let's start flipping through them now. This is, go ahead, go ahead. Um, oh my God, this sketchbook is so full. Now, to, what what medium do you like to use? Say for that page. Um, I mostly use a pen and watercolor or gouache. Um, and wait, okay, I got a million questions for you. Flip back. So that's your role models. Yeah, this is a. I just did one person because they're like my favorite artist of all time. But I like tried to write down like how the compositions are working out and like my thoughts on each of the pieces that I picked. Okay, beautiful. Love that. So that's definitely suggested for a sketchbook to have your role models in there. Good. So, so most of these now, as you're drawing, these are just life drawings or are these from um, your imagination? Most of the people just sitting around are from live drawings, but later on I have a couple poses that are like for costume. Okay. That are from photo. Okay. Now, listen YouTube, I'm trying out a new iPhone holder for this video, so if I shake a little bit, cut me a little slack, that is gorgeous. Thank you. That is gorgeous. So now, listen, you're in first year of college here at the School of Visual Arts. Yep. How's it going for you? Are you, are you enjoying it? Do you feel you're improving? I feel like I've improved a lot, and you can definitely see that in the sketchbook. Nice. I think the sheer amount of drawing that comes from the sketchbook, and like the figure drawing every week, and I'm also in figure drawing club, and I'm in viz dev club, but like taking advantages of the resources that you have at SVA, like really increases your skills really quickly. Nice. Yeah, and uh, you, uh, Locke is by far a major type A personality. <laughs> um, so yeah, you take, not everyone takes advantages of all the things that the college has to offer, and you do, so good on you. And I, you know, I, I can just really see your dedication, and uh, you know, you, you'll see, uh, the, I mean, these are really, really cool drawings, very, very interesting to look at. But there is a major progression towards the back of the sketchbook. It's really cool. Now, listen, everybody on YouTube, we're in the big city here, and they are taking down scaffolding. They knew we were going to film the sketchbook today. That wait a second. That's the building right across the street. Yeah. So this is my view from the seat I always sit in in the animation room, because mm -hmm. the first couple of days we had like really long critiques and. In between the videos, I would just draw the building behind oh me. Oh my god, I love that. that. That's a gorgeous view. Thank you. Um, that's you. Wait, where am I? Right there, holding up the sketchbook. Oh, nice. Okay, you gave me a little extra hair. I like that. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, it, it's the big city. So listen, they planned to take the scaffolding down when they knew we were going to do the sketchbook. So yeah. it was all coordinated. Absolutely. Now, this little bit of costume design. Yep, so this was from another all nighter. I pull a lot of all-nighters, um, wow. and this one was, there's like a category of like, I'm Jewish, and there's like a category of Jewish ethnic clothing that you can find on like Pinterest and in like books, and I like to take inspiration from those and kind of bring it into my own character design. Oh, that is great. There's a portrait painter on Instagram that I've been following who um, is Jewish, and he does a whole bunch of portraits of older Jewish people. I, yeah, I'm going to have to go back on there to uh, look and, and see and share that with you. I think you would enjoy it. I like all the attention. If you go back to that previous yep. page, I like the attention to like the striped shirt, um, you know, uh, underneath the bottom figure on the right, you know, the little shape underneath the shirt sleeves. Um, really nice with the shapes uh, matched up with the line, lines close together, lines far apart. So beautiful textures on that page. Thank you. Yeah, really nice. Just some people from life. Uh, there was like a day at the beginning of the year where the Met had like this kind of slam poetry. Yes. And I did a bunch of pages from there. This is some character design, just to fill up a page. Beautiful. Oh, gosh. This is more of the people from the Met doing like mostly activist poetry. It was really inspiring. So. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, we're good. So this is our second to last this is SVA's the School of Visual Arts last full week here 
Next week is like an abbreviated week. So th this is our last drawing class in, in about 15 minutes from now. And uh, sketchbooks are due today. Uh, and this is from way back in September. Yep, yeah. Yeah, so this is just the homework. And I, you know, the silhouetted shapes that you do, I, I just adore that. Everybody over there on, in YouTube land need to practice your, your figure drawing with some silhouetted shapes. It's just a different way to draw. I think you'll really benefit from it. Um, there were like some statuettes in like a Greek section of the Met. And I sat down and drew those. And I, re I really like these two pages. Yeah. Big fan of these two. Oh yeah, beautiful. I can draw that stuff all day long. We just did a virtual uh, field trip to the Met yesterday in my Zoom class, and that was so much fun. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, I love that one. I'm so, unicorn, Unicorns are my favorite animals, so. Really? Yeah, I mean, I kind of drew into unicorns for this character design as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This was the, the really delicious. quick assignment that you yes. had to. Um, this was the park near Chinatown in Manhattan. There's a woman who teaches Tai Chi really? and ribbon dancing, and you can get a lot of movement from people who are moving quickly like that. Oh, so you went there and drew them? Yep. Cool. Very cool. Well, when we were when I was watching the the, the Met tour, there's a video that does a, a virtual tour of the Met. They had some sound effects in the background, so just think that the guys taking down the scaffold and all the sound effects for our video. <laughs> that is a really beautiful little figure right over there with the light and the shade. Nice work, the modeling factors. So it's nice to see that you you know, Locke puts the work in to do some stuff. Um, that's a little bit more traditional, even though that may not be your thing, and I really do appreciate that. That's a really nice portrait right there. So yeah, SVA, every, not just SVA, but every building in the city now requires a mask, so it, it is what it is. Tough to do portrait drawing when the model's wearing a mask, but we did the best that we could. Very true. Now, what, what's your, have you uh, now in your first semester, have you kind of come closer to discovering what you really like in terms of your style? Um, yeah, I feel like my style's definitely developed. I like more shape-heavy language and like character designs and stuff like that. I'm, I think I'm like an in-between realism and cartoony. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, you know, when you see the pencil like that, it has no comparison to your pen work. But then when you do your tonal pencil, it's really, you've got that, you've got a lot of skill. Uh, th you. These are beautiful. Um, I just like when students switch gears and do the traditional tonal thing. I get it, it's the animation department, it's not the fine arts or the illustration department, but it's nice to see um, students experimenting in first year of college. That's a gorgeous hand on the left. Good job with the uh, solid shading on the feet. Here's the face again. Oh yeah, by accident I drew a face on the wall uh, where we project everything with a, with a class projector and it's been there all semester so it became the class mascot. Definitely. Now, what is your um, favorite thing to draw? Probably hair and like costume design. Okay. And since this is only, these are really pretty, very different uh, types of lines throughout. Since this is only like your first semester here at, at SVA, do you have any thoughts as to what you might want to do moving forward in terms of, you know, a specialty in, in the animation industry? I know it's just first year, but curious. Um, my priority is probably character design or concept art, but I feel like I would need to work more on like tight rendering skills for that, because a lot of the big concept pieces for films have a lot of realism in them. Yes, yes. So. Yeah, you, you'll get that. I mean, not a, no problem whatsoever. I mean, if you're putting all this time into drawing, um, now, let me ask you a question. Are you doing the three disciplines? And I think you are. Uh, drawing from photos, drawing from life, and drawing from your imagination. Yeah, this is imagination. Um, this is from life. This is in class. You had the lights off and I was trying to draw as much as I could of people. Nice. And then um, the photos are really from the homework. Yeah, and then I have references here and there of like costumes and things like that. That's great. I mean, that's how you get better quickly when you do the three disciplines. Even though you don't like the three disciplines, you might hate working from photos. 
you might think that that's bad or it's copying and copying is a dirty word, but it's just part of like your practice. That's really pretty. Nice. I'm a big fan of this big chunky rainbow pencil that you can get at Blick for like less than a dollar. Yeah, a lot of people seem to really like that. I started using it and then I started telling people to buy it. Yeah, so. see, I, I'm a stickler. I like a, a little skinnier um, pencil. That one's a little thicker in width. Yeah. It drives my fingers crazy, but you know, I'm a little bit of a baby with that stuff. Sometimes I have to force myself to work looser, so I'll Oh, that wow. Wait a second. So what's this page all about? So back when I went back to New Hampshire for Thanksgiving break, I went up to or down to the MFA and I sat down in front of two pieces that I liked and I drew them. And I wow. tried to, you know, make them seem interesting and beautiful. Really gorgeous. This is some doodling for homework assignment, planning it out. Awesome. This was that, those drawings you had a student in class. Old versus young. Yep. Yeah. Um, this is a little mermaid page that I did. So listen, that old versus young was just, what was that, a week ago? Yeah. Maybe so two. everything that you've done to the right now is a, a week and a half or 10 days worth of work, plus all of the work in your other classes. This maybe, is just, two, maybe two weeks. Sometimes. Okay. So this is just your sketchbook yeah. work. Wow, that's very pretty. That was for Vista Club, but the meetings are only an hour. Okay. And what's the primary focus in that um, club meeting? Just they give you an assignment? Okay, yeah. now wait a second. I know I just asked you a question, but don't flip so quickly. <laughs> See, okay, so let, why don't you answer that, and then I'll ask you a little bit about this page. So they give us an assignment each week. Um, I have like a bull machine drawing in the previous page where they told us to draw based off of an object and I have a little gold bowl and that week was environment design so each week is a different type of design with a prompt. Gotcha. Now this page you were just inspired to focus on this topic? Most of these are things that I could I got lunch um, in Bryant Park with my family which I was really thankful for and when we were sitting there I was drawing everything that I could see outside the windows and really so most of it's from Bryant Park. The only things that aren't are, this is also from the MFA, it's a photo I took. This is from the MFA, and then this is from a market near me. Okay. But this is a little thumbnail of what I could see outside of Bryant Park. That is one of my favorite pages in the sketchbook. Thank you. Yeah. And um, I think this is where you're kind of hitting your stride. Definitely. With some nice, loose, flowy line and beautiful characters. Um, lots of, you know, for me, I'm a stickler. I like uh, details and all of the attention to detail is my favorite. All, like, look at all the fruits, and uh, what about that one? What's that one? Where'd that come from? So, I, I'm kind of near Essex Market, since I'm in Ludlow, I'm like two minutes from there, and there's an upper level that looks down onto the market, and you've got two perfect perspective views. That This one, and there's one right here. And you can look right down. It's, it's great for perspective. Wow, love that. This is just me and my uncle holding cats and then my, my grandma's cats. Nice work. Um, this is a page where I would just like, I saw this guy walking a bunch of dogs and then whenever I saw a dog walking around while I had my sketchbook out, I would kind of add it to this page. Beautiful. I have three dogs, so I don't want to see that page. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I'm... I'm loving this too. This was our costume model. Did you enjoy that or was it frustrating? I really liked her. Um, I actually had figure drawing club the day before and she had a very similar outfit for that and I love the ballerina too too. So Yeah, I, I mean, sh she's an awesome model. I think she's a little jaded on bringing multiple costumes, but yeah. we, you know, I appreciate it. Wait a second, now this page is nuts. So this was, this modeling stand was actually in front, but I wanted to draw the people across from me in figure drawing club. Sometimes I get bored of drawing the model and I'll just start drawing the environment um, when I'm having a hard time focusing, but. I just love that. This was really nice because the people came up to me and we were like sharing each other's art and it was, you know, clubs are really great for meeting people. Wow. Um, this is also that. Hmm. Watercolor? Yep, watercolor and the big chunky pencil that you don't like. Yeah, now listen, um, okay, so what pen are you using for this page? Um, I have three different pens. One of them is 0 0.3, and it's like a random brand that I found at Kunokinia, which is a manga and art store right near Bryant Park. Hmm. And then the rest of these are like based, I don't remember the brand name, but they're based off of 
like traditional colors and like art. So there's like sepia tones mm -hmm. and reds like that. And I'm a really big fan of colors like that. But I like, I like working with the detail. My cousin gives tours. Um, like she writes her own tour material and gives yeah. tours. And she was giving one on the garment district and the history of the buildings there. And I went on the tour with her and I took photos. And these are all the photos that I took that day. Wow, that's gorgeous. And then these are the homework for drawing the older person and the younger person. I kind of have a little story where he's like a famous artist and this is his niece. And he's one of those, you know, family members or like friends you have where like they're kind of like jaded but really they care about you. So the, yes. my whole plot line with them would be that he's like secretly really fond of his niece, you know. Um, I started doing some little thumbnail storyboards for like a story where he finishes a big piece and then he gets a call from his sister about watching his niece and he has to go clean up his apartment and then he's finally done and then they arrive and he has to go to take care of her he doesn't get a minute to rest that's pretty that's that's pretty cool love that oh my god um this is my friend they make their own hats and i just really mm. like their hats so i did a page based off of them nice you, you definitely have a style there's no doubt about it thank you oh um this was from an online figure drawing thing i did um, and I was trying to kind of emulate some of Muka's lines in the dress. Yes. You know? Yes, just being conscious of the lines are most important. Um, these, these are also from that. Beautiful. I definitely see improvement, and I also see much, much more in the ways of a consistent style. I mean, it's only first year of college, we're halfway through, but you do have a pretty consistent style, and what I also see in the latter part of the sketchbook is a little bit more confidence. Definitely. Um, and the animals look amazing. I like drawing animals. I'm Usually when I'm at home, I have a lot of areas near me, like petting zoos. There's an ice cream shop that has like sheep and goats and stuff, and I'll go and draw them in person, but I can't really do that in the city. Yeah, I, I'm just for one semester, I'm filling in for a teacher, uh, teaching how to draw animals. On. It's Tuesday next semester. I got my homework this uh Right. Drawing animals is really fun. Yeah. But um, these are photos of doors that I've taken all around the city. I think this is a public library. Um, this is a construction place that I pass on the way to, you know, school often. And then this is from one of my cousin's tours. Love it. But that would be fun to draw these little doors. I love that page. That's one of my favorites. Um, so what, what's really nice is that you have fun, energetic, uh, next to, you know, detailed and concentration, and it's good to do both. Again, you know, people on YouTube, you, you got to put things into context. The, the, the way that I like to think about sketchbooks for my classes is practice experimentation. Practice experimentation, not necessarily creating a finished piece of art, but if there's a finished piece of art, great. Uh, so yeah, just to kind of give the whole thing a little bit of context. I think you're doing great. Thank you. Oh, and this is the end. Um, the end. And I drew myself holding my sketchbook. Beautiful. And of course, the uh, Our face. mascot. Yep. Locke, thank you so much thank for sharing you. the sketchbook. It was really awesome, and I thank you for pulling an all-nighter to finish it. <laughs> um, you have a social media? Yeah, um, pad.lock on Instagram and pad underscore lock on Twitter, and lock is spelled L-O-C-K-E. So. Okay. And I will put that below in the read more down below the video. And thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. All right, take care.